All right, a quick rant about the Noble Trainer Plus and why I don't recommend this shoe. Okay, so Noble came out with the Trainer Plus. This is kind of an iteration on the trainer, but it's really a whole different shoe. It's heavier, it's uh, got a thicker sole. I think what they were trying to do is make kind of a, a better all-around shoe. Hang on, wait one second. Ooh! Shoes, okay, this is the original Noble Trainer. This thing is great at so many things in CrossFit. It's the lightest shoe by far. I've tested 15 plus other shoes. It's super light, it's great for any gymnastics movements, it's really flat, it's good for deadlifting. Love this shoe. The problem with the trainer is that it really sucks for running. And box jumps sometimes get a little bit like, the sole is so thin. So not a good running shoe. So I think what Noble was trying to do is say, okay, let's add a little more cushioning and we'll kind of make it more of like a really good all around shoe. The problem is that it's just like mediocre everything now. It's, it's as heavy as all the other kind of good all-around shoes, and it still wasn't great for running. I, I had running in the wad today, and it's just like, it's better, I mean, it's better. It's definitely better for running, but then it's worse at everything else. And so I really can't recommend the Trainer Plus. I love the original Trainer because it's so light and it's so good at so many movements uh, in a CrossFit wad, but the Trainer Plus is just like, there's so many better alternatives if you want like a real all-around shoe. There's the Strike Movement. This is lighter, great at running, great at toes to bar, better all around shoe. There's the Rad Trainer. This shoe, better at running, still solid construction, about the same weight. The Metcon 7s, same weight, especially if you get these, the fancy, uh, what are these ones called? Yeah, the Metcon 7X, right? Like just as light, solid, better for running, better all around. Go with the Strike Movement, go with the, the, the 7X, or go with the Rad 1. These are all better overall all around shoes than the new Trainer Plus. So if you're gonna get a Noble shoe, just go with the OG, get something super light, and you know, if there's not running in a workout, this thing can pretty much do everything. This thing's just gonna slow you down. Yeah, it's a little better running, but it's just not worth it. So I'd say thumbs down to the Noble Trainer Plus. Uh, if you're gonna get a Noble shoe, just go with the original Trainer.